Good afternoon, everybody. If we can go ahead and have a seat so we can get started. I appreciate everybody being here with us today. My name is Cindy Hicks Rodriguez, and I am the proud principal of Brookville Elementary School. I've had the opportunity to be here now 11 years, and I have loved every moment of that. Within my 11-year period of time, I've seen this school grow and grow and grow, and we know with the expansion in Fremont, we continue to grow, and we are very excited about the growth for our school. We have some very exciting changes happening over the next few years here at Brookville, and I personally want to thank my staff and students for their flexibility and cooperation during this construction process, and I really, really appreciate your dedication to our students and the entire project that we have going on here. I would also like to thank our district leadership team and the Fremont Board of Education members for being here today to help us celebrate this momentous occasion. I would also like to commend our, the members of our construction company for striving to keep us in the know from day to day and really trying to meet the continuous needs of our students and our staff to ensure safety during their project. A huge thank you goes out to the members of the Measure E Citizens Oversight Committee for all of their hard work and dedication to this new building project at Brookville. We at Brookville, as I said, are very excited about the growth of our school, and we look forward to seeing the new state-of-the-art facilities and classrooms in use next year, and our students have been talking about it consistently. The big question is, who gets to go in there? So that's to be announced later. Once we get our projected enrollment, we can address that. Again, I would like to thank our staff and our community members for coming out today to help us celebrate this groundbreaking event. As I said, changes will be continually happening on site. Today we are fortunate to have two wonderful fifth grade student speakers joining us to talk about their excitement for the new classroom project going into action next year. Please welcome both students to the podium, fifth grade students, Jenna McDonald and Farhan Chowdhury. Hi, my name is Jenna McDonald and I'm a fifth grader here at Brookvale Elementary School. I'm one of the many students who have had the privilege of being here since kindergarten. I have seen my campus grow every year and I will not only see our population expand, but I will also see the campus grow bigger. But we'll be the first students to step foot in our new classrooms. Looking at this construction site, I'm filled with in excitement and anticipation. I think about what new adventures and memories that will be made in the new classrooms. I can't help a but think about the students that came before me like the ones in 1972 as the first students in this school. I'm sure we would have a lot in common, looking at the new classrooms and wondering who their teacher will be and even who will be in their class. But I wonder what they would think about all these new improvements, like more classrooms, new technology, and different ways of teaching and learning. I am grateful for the time I've spent at Brookvale, and I have had some great teachers that have helped me to learn and taught me how to work well with others. I have learned math, reading, and history, and as well as how to make a PowerPoint or search the internet. I have not only grown in the classroom, but I have learned about other cultures and have made great friends. My closest friends eat different foods and have different beliefs, but at Brookvale, I have learned that we have a lot in common. I would like to thank the district for choosing Brookvale as one of the first schools to expand so many more children will get to share the same experience is that I have had. Thank you. Good afternoon, students, teachers, and parents. Today, today we're gathered here for the groundbreaking ceremony for the new classrooms. I am very honored to have this opportunity to speak at this occasion. In fact, I'm the first person in my entire family to have this opportunity. So let's get started. First, and most of all, I'm excited. I'm excited be because I get to move away from the same buildings I've been in for six years. <laughs> Second of all, I'm nervous because with Brookville getting bigger means a lot more people and with more people that means more friends but also that I just lost my 
I'm gonna restart that. So, <laughs> so I'm nerv I'm nervous because with more people, that means more people at recess in class and more people to meet. But I'm also happy be because there's gonna be I'm gonna get more friends and also there's, I'm gonna meet lots of more people. I hope everyone is having a great day. Bye. Well, thank you very much, Jenna and Farhan. Excellent speeches. Thank you very much. Hello, students, guests, teachers, members of the Fremont Board of Education, members of the Fremont Unified School District, uh, members of the Measure E Oversight Committee, uh, Dr. Morris and Principal Rodriguez. My name is Brendan Wu. I'm a junior in high school um, and a student representative of SURF, a student body for the Fremont School District representing more than 34,000 students strong and counting. We have come today together to celebrate the spirit of a community and its commitment to public achievement. I'm a proud product of Fremont Public Elementary School and mine's just a bike ride away from here. Mine, in many ways, is not any different than the beautiful campus here at Brookvale. Like many students, I come to school every day and I don't have to often worry about looking up at the ce ceiling on a rainy day, um, seeing leaks through the ceiling, or going to the bathroom, um, finding out that something's wrong with the bathroom, or lo and behold, open a, a laptop and say the Wi-Fi is not working. And I ask myself this question, why? And the answer is quite simple. It's because things in our district work. And they work because of the people who work hard to make sure that everything is working for the students so that they can learn and so that they can become better people. It really speaks volumes of how the community um, really trusts its leadership and stands behind it and its values of education for all of our students. My friends, at the end of the day, none of this could have happened or come to fruition uh, without the support of the Fremont voters and taxpayers. The passing of Measure E is in itself a voluminous testament of the support and trust that the residents of Fremont have in its school board, in its leadership, and more importantly, the well-being of all of its pupils. Now the importance of the facility is quite obvious, but what may not be obvious are the memories that the students of Brookvale will make in the new building. Memories that will not immediately define who they will be as young citizens, but will certainly cultivate and help them to cultivate a rich and lifelong foundation to learn and to someday make an impact back on their own society. And on behalf of all the students of the entire Fremont School District and the fortunate students of Brookvale who will be the direct beneficiaries of this soon to be built fa facility, I thank you for your investment in all of us. Thank you. There has been a change in the program. I would now like to introduce Trustee Crosby to the podium. Thank you, Brandon. Um, Trustee uh, Burke had hoped to be here and due to unforeseen circumstances she wasn't able to come so she wanted to give me, have me give her regrets and to let you know she's so excited for your school site. I appreciate all the words, it's sort of hard to follow such wonderful speakers. Um, I would say that when I I was in school in 72 and if you had asked me if I would know how to do a PowerPoint, I wouldn't know what a PowerPoint was. I would have been PowerPoint, right? It's, that's probably what that would be. Um, and there was no way to know where we would be today. And all the changes in Fremont in the last ye 10 years, let alone prior 20, 30, whatever. Um, I wanted to thank you all for coming out and also let you know that we couldn't do this without you. I had the pleasure of being on the Measure E committee 
going out, knocking on doors, trying to get voters to believe that we could do this, that we could have new buildings, that our students deserve new buildings. And we had a huge team of, of people who believed in that and worked hard to make it happen. And because of that, we're here today. And it is great pleasure of mine to be part of that. So thank you very much for believing in our students and for coming out today. Good afternoon, my name is Raul Parangao, Associate Superintendent for Fremont Unified School District and a proud resident of Fremont for 18 years. Um, about a year ago, at this time last year, uh, we had a meeting uh, here, a series of meetings, and we discussed about uh, the overcrowding, specifically at, uh, at uh, Brookvale and overall district-wide. district, uh, district -wide. And uh, we were brainstorming in terms of how to be able to solve this overcrowding. And during that time, we actually, it was a concept for us to be able to, to build this building. It, was start, it started almost like, how about if we actually build a portable building? But it ended up to be a permanent construction. And thankfully, our board approved this project January of 2016. In order for us to be able to build uh, this awesome building, we need to have partners who are, comp who are competent, uh, who are uh, a a laser focused into student safety. And today I'd like to introduce to you the team who is gonna be um, uh, working on this project. First off, we have uh, Rodan Builders and Project Frog who will be uh, building this building. Uh, SBA Architect who will be designing uh, the building. Uh, we have Vanner Construction, who will be the, the construction management and program management team. And we have the administration, John Swastik and Therese Gain, the co-director for facilities and construction. These are the group of individuals who will make sure that this project do, do not disrupt the classes and also make sure uh, the student, community, families are safe. Last but not least, I'd like to also recognize are members of the Citizens Bonds Oversight Committee. Uh, they're the ones who actually make sure that all the funds, Measure E funds, are spent according to, to you, to the voters uh, the, that you approved uh, last June of 2014. Uh, and at this point, I'd like to introduce Dr. Morris. Thank you so much. I'll keep my remarks very brief, but I have a couple of um, just important points I want to make. I think all of us toward the end of this brief program are very unfortunate to have to uh, follow Jenna and Farhan and Brendan because they really are the stars of the show. That is the reason that we do what we do. The teachers who are sitting here today, Mrs. Anderson from the office, Ms. Hicks Rodriguez, the parents of Brookvale who work so hard to make this a good school, those students exemplify the reason that we're here, really providing them with an education. I just have to say to these students, they made me and I know they made every one of us very, very proud today because it really is about educating, challenging, and inspiring future leaders in this community. It wouldn't happen without the hard work of the school staff, but we see the result of it. We see students who are successful and students who give all of us a belief that tomorrow will be better than today because of the young people, because this building really is a facility that isn't particularly important. What's important is what happens inside those classrooms and the importance of it is seen in these students. I thank you so much. We're going to walk across the way and have a great photo and you get to put on those hard hats and uh, move some dirt around. Um, I invite all of you to join us over there and I thank you so much for coming for this important event today. Thank you so much.